welcome back to my youtube channel i am rohit and this is the 18th session of the catalog item real time training so this is all about the execution plan so in our real time scenario or the complex real time project we mostly don't use the execution plan but um, as i am going through all over this catalog item training so i just want to discuss with you guys that about the execution plan so i want to going through that so in the execution plan mostly is used to uh, generate the catalog task and using the catalog task also you can generate the approval so we'll see that how we can do those stuffs one by one so if you go back to the, your uh, uh, system and if you type that execution plan um, so most of the industry they are not using that execution plan but if you go back to the execution plan uh, you can see this is the execution plan uh, table and he it's have the 16 record so if i go back to the catalog item table sc cat item table and trying to create a new catalog item so once you once you click the new button by default in this process engine you can see the execution plan is set as a default so basically uh, if you don't select any uh, flow any uh, workflow by default the the process engine will be selected as the execution plan and using the execution plan you can generate the task or you can generate the task approval so we'll talk about that so let's say i am going to create a variable called execution plan and i'm um, not doing much detail so i'm i'll put that uh, description short description everything uh, meta and then save that now you can see by default the execution plan is default uh, so i will show you that why i mean by default if you don't attach any workflow or flow designer what will be happen into the through the execution plan before that i just want to create a single variables to give you some uh, demo so let's say that name i'll create a simple variable so at that order 100 i'm going to create one variable called name and uh, that's it uh, nothing uh, mandatory and all those stuff i guess you already aware of those steps i'll just submit that now in this catalog item by default the process engine is the execution plan and if we try it uh, here the name variables is available and order that what will be happen very first thing is that so if i order this catalog item so i'm doing from the back end it will generate a uh, one ritm and in this ritm there is nothing called show workflow or um, show flow context nothing is there because it's attached to that execution plan as per execution plan it attach or it's generated to catalog task and how it is generating if you go back to the execution plan and open the default execution plan you can see that at that order 100 there is a one task at the order 200 there is a one task and these have that first it will go to the fulfillment service and secondly it will go to the software software group so it is created two uh, tasks one is the fulfillment service another is the software so that way that execution plan actually works and if you see here in this execution plan they although they have a order 100 or 200 but you can't make them the dependent so it will be those variable will be uh, visible something like that so i will create one execution plan uh, so simply i'll go to this execution plan module here and i'm going to create a uh, execution plan called test execution plan so when you open that it will be open it have some several uh, few i'll show you that the name i'll say that test uh, execution plan but yes if you want to simple generate that task uh, based on certain condition you can use this execution plan and once we save that this delivery time is a um, read only field this will all will become based on the execution plan task so once you create the execution plan you have execution plan task and if you see it have a uh, the various view you can based on the various uh, use cases you can change it to the view and see that what all fields is there now you can see you have a new and you have a new approval so you basically as i mentioned that the execution plan is actually generate the task so you can generate a task approval so let's see how the task approval looks like so i'll simply click the new approval once I click the new approval, it is asking me uh, for a certain, um, you know, name. So I will select that the first 
So once you put this word and you have a upon approval upon rejection, what it is meaning that. So if you approve that, what will be happen? It will be processed to the next task. You can uh, you know um, uh, do that. Wait for user to close this task. This option is there. Secondly, upon rejection, cancel all the future tasks or go to the pre previous task. So based on your use case, you can define that. Now you have a condition and this condition, based on the condition, you can, you know, uh, uh, do whatever things you are needed. So I am not doing anything. Uh, here you have a script, installation instruction, short description, whatever thing is that you can do all those stuff. So I'll put this for, uh, short description and instruction and click the submit. So in the execution plan, first we created an execution approval task. So basically we have a two types of task. One is the exe uh, execution plan task, another is the execution plan approval task. So in this first approval, uh, we already said that what ha what have to be done. But to, to whom we are trying to send the approval, we have not said. So if you open the execution plan approval task, you will be able to see that groups and then approved by. So I'll select some of the approved by here. So let's select some of the approvals. So I'll select these three user app for the approval and save that. So first of all, whenever you order that, it will be generated task and task will have some approval. Okay. Now let's go back to our delivery plan. So this is at, at order 100. And in this 200, I'll click new. I just want to show you the difference. So this is the one approval task. So execution plan approval task. Now I'll create one more call uh, second task. Here it is asking for the group. So we'll select a groups called uh, Acme Refrigerator groups. And then um, I'll copy the short description just to show you that how it is, um, you know, showing and then here we can put the delivery date so we'll say the five days okay so delivery time is a five days so now you can see the total delivery time is calculated because the top one we don't put that order let's say we will put that 100 instead of 100 we'll put that 200 and let's see what is happening although this execution plan have a first um, order then this is the second order Let's see what is happening. I'll copy this execution plan and I'll open this item and set that execution plan. I'll open this catalog item. And instead of default execution plan, I'm going to select my execution plan so that we have created. Now simply save that. Now once we click try it and see that as per our expectation, it is working or not. So we'll click OK or maybe the name I'm putting that okay and order now. So as per our process, uh, let's see, it should generate the approvals. But at that moment, we are not able to see any things. So nothing is approval is generated. It simply generate two tasks. If you see at that order 100 and order 200. But actually, if you see the actual start time, so it means that this task is started. So I'll simply open this task and show you that so this task for the approval, if you remember, we asked for the, this task for approval. Now here is the interesting thing you can see that, uh, you know, that approval for, I mean, uh, uh, assignment group is not visible, assign to is visible. And if you see under the approval tab, you can see all these approval names. As I mentioned that it will be generated the approval task, not direct approval. So let's say uh, what happening, we approve this catalog task. Uh, it has to be approved by three person. You can't do a lot of code here because the execution plan doesn't, uh, most of the people, they don't use that, but just for knowledge. So these approval tasks, all approval task is approved. Now the state from requested to change to the approve and then state is closed. That is done. Now, if I go back to the RITM, so this uh, task is done. You can see that uh, Stage is also changing to the second task. Right now it is in second task and this task is actually open. And if you open that, once you close this task, so let's say I close this task, my RITM will be closed. So this way for the simple one, generating the RITM or generating to that, uh, you know, um, task, 
or if you want to do the uh, task approval in that case you can use go for the execution plan but uh, you know for the complex or any dependency things you have to use the flow designer or the workflow so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day